Okay, so this whole deal with this, uh, I'll make sure I'm recording here, sorry about that. Um, so this whole deal with this representative from, um, oh, let's see, where is he from? Um, he's from Missouri. Representative Todd Aiken, um, who's actually running for Senate. Um, okay, so we know the whole fucking hubble or whatever about what he said. If you hadn't heard it, he said basically legitimate rape cannot uh, create basically a baby. Uh, a woman can't get pregnant if legitimately, if legitimately raped. Um, as stupid and fucking ignorant as that sounds, it's not a cause for the entire country to make this a fucking issue. Um, especially when we have issues and stories like Brandon Robb, uh, Marine, who um, has been um, unlawfully uh, detained, um, although he hasn't been charged with a crime, by the um, federal government, by the FBI, um, for posting um, comments on Facebook and postings on Facebook that uh, claimed that the United States was behind, you know, our government was complacent in 9-11, and that this country needs a revolution. You have this fucking ignorant dick face, okay, granted he is an idiot, um, and wow, politicians make stupid comments. Wow, is this really the need for an entire nationwide debate? I mean, you should actually look at what he said and go, um, that's fucking stupid, let's move on. But instead, this has become the big topic in the United States because of things like CNN and other major media sources. You have to understand that the media uses stories like this to distract people from issues of real concern. Honestly, the only people who should be really concerned about what this man is saying um, should be his constituents in Missouri. Um his representatives in his district, and obviously those who, um, who uh, in the state are going to be voting for um, senator um, come a few months from now. Um, this is nothing to do with the rest. All this is is a human emotional issue, much like the, the gay debate, much like the abortion debate. Issues that are meant to divide and conquer uh, divide basically the opinions of the people to put one side versus another while essentially things like unlawful detention continue to happen without the public's outrage and yet people care about this fucking idiot and what he said. The only people who should care, honestly, are the people who are involved, which is his constituents. Um, but you don't hear the news talking about Brandon Robb um, uh, being detained because, well, yeah, the First Amendment and the Constitution and the federal government essentially arresting, or not necessarily arresting, but detaining you for thought crimes is pretty fucking heavy shit that could affect everybody in this country, every citizen in this country. And the fact that they're not reporting on it and they're making a big deal out of some stupid fucking comment, a representative from Missouri an idiot fucking Republican? I mean, come on. And of course, the Democrats are all going to be like, oh, blah, blah, oh, yeah, you know, stupid Republicans making stupid comments. Um, Joe Biden just said the other day that uh, you'll be back in chains if, uh, if, 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 if Romney gets elected. I mean, come on, politicians say, say stupid shit all the time, um, but the detention, uh, the unlawful detention... Um, and putting somebody in a psych ward because of comments that they made on Facebook uh, wasn't, and, and claiming it's terrorist in nature, that's some fucking important shit. But no, they want you focused on the distraction. They don't want you focused on your First Amendment rights. They want you distracted by, oh, whether or not, and of course women are going to get, and I know probably I'm going to get some shit for saying this, but women get all fucking emotional on this subject. This has absolutely nothing to do with you unless you are in Missouri. You, if, you're, if you're not a constituent of this person, it's not an issue. Move on. Say he's a fucking idiot, it's a stupid comment, and move the fuck on. I don't get 
why people get hung up on shit like this. It's a distraction. And the media fucking does it because the media is controlled by the government and the government wants you fucking distracted, ignorant, and arguing about issues that make no fucking sense and no goddamn difference. It's stupid, but no. Don't pay attention to Brandon Robb. Don't pay attention to the federal government coming in and detaining you and sending you to a psych ward because you tend to believe in an alternative theory about 9-11. No, that they don't want you to know about. They don't want you to fucking concentrate on that because they want you distracted by stupid shit like this. Please, stop falling for it. It's a fucking bullshit fucking distraction. I don't know why I even have to make a fucking video about this because I see it all over the news and I hear people talk about and post shit on fucking line like it's some big fucking national emergency. It's some stupid politician's ignorant fucking opinion and I'm sorry. Same thing with like Chick-fil-A. People have a right to be stupid and ignorant but people also have a right for their First Amendment right which you fucking idiots should care about. That's it. I'm done.